Hello, friendos. Welcome back to another exciting episode of The Small Town Gamer, where today we are doing medieval because it's the week of Halloween. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we gotta do something that has skeletons in it. Uh, this skeleton li likes to mess with chicken and fake eat it. So yeah. Anyway, let's go. I realize that my real name's on there. Fuck. Oh well. I don't care. So one one of the big things, uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to do medieval and why we started on the home screen instead of you know the the screen the the title screen is because we get a little bit of exposition before we get into the actual game. Zerok. Hated his fellow citizens. He still looks like he's made out of wood. Peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons. Ooh, army of demons. To take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia in the he, battle against the He looks goofy as hell. Fall. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude. How demons fell before him, yeah. like wheat before the scythe, and how at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. <laughs> Something tells me that that's a lie. As the hero of Galilee, and a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then the sorcerer returned. Everybody got that? So, that's the basic premise of this game. Uh, the Sorcerer returns, and uh, we play as uh, Sir Daniel Fortescue. Ooh, what's going on here? Pretty stars. Oh, wow. This looks really good. Looks even better than I thought. Ooh. This is almost shot for shot, the original uh, opener. <laughs> Let's hope that it keeps it up. Go, go, buffalo! Hello, Xerox. The Ever Knight. You a spider. Squish. What did that say? Go back! I missed it! Son of a bitch. Why does it make a. Oh, he's gonna get all wet. You. Oh, no, maybe not. Ooh, where's he going? Where's he going? I looked down upon my kingdom and knew we're fucked. <laughs> uh, yeah, I may not have been too far off with this one. Uh oh. So he that. <laughs> Ew, that smile. That's disgusting. He looks skinny as hell. This is very Tim Burton inspired. Wait, 
Are those masks? Is he collecting souls? What is he doing? I don't know. Well, we always knew children were evil. So... Why did he go into... Sir Daniel's... Ah! That's a spider! Yeah. And medieval? And we're going through the graveyard. Spooky graveyard. Of course, a statue of Sadanyu without an eye and a, as a skeleton? Awesome! So what happens if I do to do, do colorblind settings? Wow, that's cool. Uh, all right, I think we're good. Ooh, that is the exact same laugh from the original. The only reason I know that all this is number one, I I played it when I was a kid. Uh, on the PlayStation. It's one of the few games that I've got to play on the PlayStation. Uh, because I didn't have a PlayStation growing up. But I had a friend who did. He had a uh, demo disc with this on it. And I love this game. So he led the charge. And eyeball. Bye, Dan. <laughs> He's so adorable. I love Dan. <laughs> the loading screens. Oh my god, that's funny as hell. It has risen again. Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? The hero of Gallomere who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time. Wow. Inspired to turn the arrow fodder. To the savior of the day, but we knows better. What a dick! <laughs> Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance, a chance to forget the ignoble truth, <laughs> a chance to defeat Sarak and live up to the legend. We hopes it does well. Oh, poor guy. Alright, now we got Dan. And we're gonna get all the gold in Dan's, uh, I guess, chamber? Is it a chamber? I don't know. Look up to a book and press triangle. I'm not going to press triangle just yet. I gotta get accustomed to... Hey, what's that? I found a life bottle! Woo! Did he kick it open? That's awesome. Okay, I got the star rune. Whee! Eh. Give me a copper shield. Okay, so how do you use the shield? Okay. Mm. 
Let's get the small sword first. During your travels through Galamir, you will collect many items. To see your items or to use one, review your inventory. Okay. In it, you will also find your book of Galamir, which will keep a record of the denizens you've encountered and bestow you with keen insights. Oh, you gotta scroll down on your own. Could provide. <laughs> this game is self aware. I love it. Okay. So that's how I open my inventory. Options. Where are the controls? Strafe. Oh, R1's to block. Okay. Run, Dan, run! Some weapons contain powers and abilities beyond the ordinary. Be sure to test every weapon to discover their secondary abilities. Mm -hmm. Some weapon abilities are immediate, and some may need a bit of time to charge before they realize their full potential. Got it. We. <laughs> he spins his whole torso around. That's funny. Also very goofy. This game's goofy. You must be out of shape after 100 years lying on your back. Use the crypt to get to grips with your new lease on life. Wait. What's the What's the deal with his head? Did he turn around to look at whatever the thing was? Any treasure that He's looking at me! Quit looking at me! That's weird. Coin total. Coins are used to buy items from the greedy merchant gargoyles. Okay. We kind of figured that, but alright. Alright. Nice. You will find life bottles throughout Galamir. Yeah, I already know that. The same magic that rose you from your slumber and will raise you from the dead once again. When your life is low, using this bottle will help you feel a little. Okay. What's this book say? When you're ready to leave this crypt, you'll find an exit at the end of the hall. To unlock the gates, you must find a runestone and place it in the ornate hand set next to the doorway. But why a hand? Yaw. Hey, is there something over here? I feel like there's something over there. Why does that wall look different? I feel like I, I feel like if I had a bomb or something. Hmm. Oh well. Let's go. And we're out. Track down Zerok by retracing his diabolical odyssey through Galamir. Diabolical. trail of magic slime. Ew. Ew. <laughs> That's disgusting. I'm so excited to play this game. Like, you guys have no idea. I've actually been waiting for this. Alright. Let's go through the graveyard, baby. The graveyard. Take your first steps as a hero and slay some helpless zombies. They might seem cranky, but they just woke up from a nice long nap. It kind of sounds like the guy, <laughs> the guy who did Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. <laughs> oh, what, what, what was it that Dana Carvey said? Uh, something I'm yelling and I don't know why. Beat the hand up! Ah, zombie! Hey, what's this? More coins. Can I meet these up? I can break stuff. 
That's all I wanted to know. Desecrate it all! That'll teach the zombies. Hey, what the hell? Alright. What's this book say? Stinking dead have risen up to dance with the lifeless living, and they want to do it over your dead body. Eh, it sounds sounds like fun. Let's have a party. Ten percent, huh? Well, here we freaking go. Ah! Small light following you around. Oh, Wisp, okay. The heroes of the hall are not supposed to intervene in mortal affairs. But when they heard that Sir Daniel Fortescue had a shot at redemption, well, they decided <laughs> to be with your uh, depth perception. The reason why depth perception is like the focus of that is because when you uh when you lose an eye, you lose your depth perception. So That is kind of funny. Good lord. I'm losing a lot of health. I think we'll switch over to this. And one more. Okay, I need stones. Nice health. Don't let zombies get you down. Tend those wounds by stepping into this fountain of rejuvenation. Nice. All right. Let's see if we can. Okay. Is there a way to crouch? I thought there was a way to crouch. I need the earth rune. And I need some kind of other rune. So we gotta search. Hey, what's that? Uh, didn't take long. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> I gotta use the evil laugh today. Ah! Nice. Using a lot of range attacks. Chaos rune. Hmm. Sometimes it may be useful to view the world from a different point of view. Be sure to take a moment from time to time to enjoy the beauty of our beloved Galamir. Keep your eye peeled for any Because <laughs> he's only got one eye. That's funny. L2 to enter Dan Cam. <laughs> this, this game is so goofy. I love it. Oh, damn it, I did it again. I mean... <laughs> Sweet. Ah! I did not expect that. <laughs> All right, let's take you out. In, 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 in. Hey, hey! Remember, nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. Really? 
Yeah, yeah. Done. Nothing remains hidden under the gaze of an angel. Hey. The object here is the chalice. Every time you dispatch an enemy with a sword, cool. the chalice fills a little more. Fill the chalice and then collect it. And you will be worthy of visiting the sacred hall of heroes to claim a new weapon. There is a chalice to be found in every region of Galamir. They are all hidden or well guarded. Only a true hero. All right. Enemies have souls. Well, it looks like I'm doing a good job at uh, filling the chalice with souls. What the hell is that thing? The living world lies beyond these skull gates. The master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull key. Okay. It's good to know. Eat my throwing daggers, bitch. Ah! There's got to be one more enemy. Hey! That's not fair. Okay, there's the gargoyle. Ah! They're popping up out behind me. Might be using those too much. But we're going back to the for the chalice, baby. Woo! If I can find my way around. Give me that chalice. Okay. There we go. Got the chalice. Hang on. Does that open this gate? Sweet. I wondered how I get through here. Oh, another life bottle. Gotcha, bitch. You can't beat me. I'm Sir Daniel Fortescue. Baby. <laughs> I'm the hero of Galamere. Sir Daniel Fortescue. I don't know why I gave him that voice, but yeah, whatever. Works for me. See what this guy has to say. Yeah, we'll we'll give him some for the for the the daggers. Come on, trip, trip, trip! Ah! <laughs> You got a trip too. Trip it. Trip. All right. Since you didn't want to trip. All right. What's up here? Oh, another health fountain. Awesome. Gotcha. <laughs> hey, another copper shield. Feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. 
Oh my gosh, this game is so funny to me. Ah, look at my health. Good lord. Anvil. So, I can't go into the water. But I can go over the bridge. All right. <clears throat> oh, we're going to the Hall of Heroes now. Awesome. Is that me? Am I doing that? All right, guys, that's all the time I'm going to take up for today. The reason why this first episode is always longer is because if it's a intro level, I always want to get the intro level out of the way so we can just play the game and have fun. Uh, but, of course, this game has a lot of charm, has a lot of... Uh, it, it's comedic gold for those who have a very... A very good sense of humor, I guess. I guess a very... I, what constitutes a good sense of humor? Is it somebody that laughs at everything? I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. Subscribe to us if you haven't done so already. Ring the bell so you get all the notifications, no matter what we do. On the left is a recommended for you video, and on the right is yesterday's video, so give that a like, comment, and a share so we can continue to grow this fine channel. And just remember, for this week, I'm going to continue playing Medieval. So, that's going to be our Halloween game, I guess. Well, I took Halloween off, so I'm probably going to stream a special game. Mmm, I wonder what it could be. This will be uh, the episodic game for this week. Uh, and then we'll go back to Astral Chain. Once we finish Astral Chain, we'll come back to this and finish that out. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take till Christmas because uh, I, I want to do a, uh, a christmas theme game. Or maybe something Christmassy. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get there. But thanks so much, guys for watching and don't forget to stay frog <laughs>